uh, I say, gentlemen, hopefully you know what that means. Uh, he, like, he comes up and he's like, it de he, this is definitely a different individual than the one that came earlier. Alright. They're still the wearing the same sort of clothing as the other one? Same clothing, different build. Alright. Figure says, quite a, quite a show you've put on there, huh? My, I'm, is he talking my Lord to me is... through the window, by the way? Or is he inside? Yeah, sure, why not? Like, he, he's, like if you're by the door, like he, he'll, he'll kind of come right, in. Alright, so I'll be standing. Okay, yep. But he's like a quite a sh quite a show you put you, you you fellows put on. Um, he's much more well spoken and eloquent than the previous guy. Um, my lord is quite pleased with this development. Um, have you any other information of these? Why don't you wait for my anarchists? party, who seems to know a bit more than I? Very well, and he kind of comes up to you guys. He comes he comes in, and he's actually this one is a lot less brusque than previous purple cloak guy. I right? follow in. Just okay. chin, sit on the table. And all these people just walking into Crotch Shop. He, he, he actually bows and is like, oh, I'm sorry for the intrusion. Okay. Okay, is there anything, like, do we see anything special about this guy, or is he just another dick? He's of way, he's a, he's a way, he, he's a less heavy build than the previous guy, previous Purple Glow guy. And he's also about five inches shorter. Like, he's, as opposed to being close to six, he's more like five and a half. And he says, "My lord, thanks you for your accomplishments already, and would like to uh, give you a token, his a small token of his appreciation." And he uh, moves over the table and drops a sack, a clinking sack, on the table. Right? Hayden Hayden scoots down the bench toward the sack. All right, and he says, um, "Have you any other information of these anarchists? You've dealt quite a blow to them this evening." Yeah. So he he kind of he, he turns and looks. He turns towards. Hayden kind of kind of leans back in the chair and puts his hand up by his chin and is like, "So I'm not positive because I'd only heard it from one guy, mm -hmm. but it seems like they're doing something down in the waterways." There's he you you see him stiffen a little bit and he's like, "What have you heard of this?" I don't know. I just saw it on a map and then talked to some peon, but basically it seems like they have some kind of cash down there. Of of what precisely? I think weapons, but he 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 nods. The the figure nods to himself. Some um, he says, "Let me let me make you an offer personally." Before you continue with that offer, allow me to elaborate on just what went down in that building. Have you know of the alchemist fire that these Cretans have been using? He 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 nods and says it's it's a cheap and it's it's a cheap and volatile brew they've made. You don't have to tell me twice. It's disgusting and despicable. He 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 chuckles to himself a little bit. So I, I managed I managed to find a large quantity of the alchemist fire, and I believe that it is probably one of the the major manufacturing areas of the alchemist fire that they had in that building. Do you know how much they had? Like of the like how much fire they had on stock? Uh, do I? Yeah, you would have an idea. Like you looked into the floorboards, there are probably like two or three cauldrons. Okay. And how many liters is? Do you think that would be? Oh, there would be like gallons. Okay. Like a ton, like big, like huge cauldrons. Probably like sixty to one hundred and twenty liters a piece at least. So, by my estimates, I, I counted, and I was only there for a few seconds before I made my decision, mind you. Uh, I saw about two to three cauldrons with about 60 liters in each one. He nods. That would, that would be a great deal of their pre-made stock. He, he pauses for a moment and kind of thinks to himself and says, Let me ask you a favor personally. My lord is quite pleased with your efforts this evening. But I feel that for both of us, we can come out even further ahead should you take action, strike while the iron is hot in this matter. You mention hearing of a weapons cache in the waterways. We have heard information of this as well, but we don't know the locations precisely of this. Did you see where they had these pinned? Like where on the maps they were? I'm, I, I guess at this point I, I nod and I say, I saw generally where they are, I, if I can remember properly. Are, he says, well, there's, there are only several entrances in the city that would serve for this purpose. Um, if there were any in the south, in the south ward of the city, I could tell you precisely what aqueduct they would be 
entering via. Yes, I nod. I nod and give him the information that I like. Where where I saw like as best as my character can remember. Right, what area? And he yeah. says, "Hmm." Crot, Crot will help out. Oh yeah, with with the information from Crot as well, he give, he gives you an actual location for this aqueduct entrance. What is it? And says there's there's a, there's a, there's access to the south aqueduct through this through a uh, a service entrance there. It's been shut for quite some time, but. There's, there's, got, there's bound to be access to it nearby that. Um, he says, if you strike while the iron is hot, I will reward you personally as well as what your, what my lord gives you. For such action will benefit both of us. Um, forgive me, but do we actually get a lord's name? Uh, That's very well spoken. It's, it's you, Crot, can, it's you, can ask, <laughs> you can ask him. Would, did, that didn't sound like Crot, I'm that? just saying. Does somebody yeah, ask so, that? So, yeah, Crot will say, like, uh, we... We've seen these terrorists, and we know more about them than we know about you. And before we keep working for you, you need to you need to talk. Who are you? Who is your lord? All right, he says. Uh, very well, not unreasonable. I I can't. I cannot give you my lord's name, but I can give you his title, and I can give you my own. I am Rama. And. He is a vassal. He is a vassal of Ides, the fourth mask. Oh, so this is like a mask lord, lord, lord of Waterdeep? Yes, he's, he says that, and you never caught it, you never saw his face. Remember that. Yeah, he's probably wearing like the traditional mask. Yeah. So he mask, says, though? he says, he, I'm Ramah, and I'm a vassal of Ides the Fourth Mask. That's why this is an important and a big deal. And it is, it is my, 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 tr my, my, my gesture of faith towards you that you can accomplish what you, you can, that you can accomplish this and you will be successful in these matters. Um, uh, it's, just out of game real quick, guys. It's also probably worth mentioning the name of the guy who you shook his hand. His name was Arian. You don't oh, know right. that. I'm not, I'm that's not what I'm saying, out it. of game. But yeah, yeah, uh, the Arian. Yeah. I'm is. very. Uh, I'm. I'm not mentioning that. Okay. But who was the one that shook yeah, his that hand? Yeah, that is. Not, oh, was that you? is something yeah, yeah. only Ariston knows currently. Okay. So right. good. Yeah, we don't. Yep, that's just Ariston. All right. So, with that being said, he he says, um, I mean. Just again, it, it is best if you strike that while the iron is hot with this matter, so the cash could move. Once the, the the once this event settles down, they will almost assuredly restructure and reshuffle what assets they have remaining. While he's it's doing like, this, I wish to peek inside the bag. Uh, sure thing. Uh, there's gold coins inside. Okay, lots of I, them. I just I push it back in the yeah. middle of the table. Mm -hmm. I, I look up I'd at like him. To do the same, except I'd like to start counting. Uh, he says, "He says, uh, well, very well. Then I will. I will take my leave. I trust. I, I trust that you guys will. That you fellows will be safe and be well. And he pulls a. He pulls like a, a stoppered, a stoppered, stoppered uh, bottle out and says, "This is uh, a, a good luck gift. Use it as you use it as you must." And he lays it on the table and takes his leave. I I'm gonna, pick up I'm the take bottle. Take my finger, yeah, and slide it towards him. Yeah, I, I pick up the bottle. I'm still counting coins. I un mm -hmm. I uncork it and I smell it. Knowledge, al knowledge, alchemy, buddy. God. You're just <laughs> you're letting me have <laughs> these rolls. I love it. <laughs> Do it, knowledge, alchemy, knowledge, arcana, both of them. I I think he's got it. I don't need to. Know. Okay, so oh, <laughs> the second one is arcana, oh, by geez. the way. Damn. Yeah. Let's get third help. twenty tonight. Christ alive! Yeah. All right. So the knowledge alchemy check makes it is a potable substance. With Damn, a I need a new page. <laughs> with with a with, it's, with the base of it, with the, it's a potable substance. The base of which is standard for healing potions. Your knowledge arcana potion tells check tells you it's, it is a potion. It is a, a moderate healing potion. And there are enough dosages of it for at least two separate full doses. Is it moderate? It's moderate, two, yeah. 1d8 or 2d8? Moderate is 2d8, I want to say. Yeah, but moderate's two. White like, is one. So full, yeah. Two full yeah. doses, does that mean like two people could take a sip of it? 
And get 2d8, yes. Okay. Two people, it, it's got two uses in it. I, I, I pocket it without mentioning it. Um, you see, people like see you, you, like people see Yeah, you. we're watching. It's, it's like, a, it's useful, gentlemen, it'll come up. If you, if you, like, here's the thing, is yep. that if you knowledge alchemy it, you could split it into multiple doses. Oh, cool. If you, if you want to, if you want to, if you want to try to se separate it up, I can have you do a knowledge alchemy check. Do you have craft alchemy as well? Uh, I didn't. The craft <laughs> alchemy wasn't a, on the list, so. Oh, that's okay. Oh, no, that I do have. Be... I do have craft alchemy. Yeah. Oh yeah. Put roll a uh, knowledge alchemy to craft alchemy. Both. It wasn't on the list, but fuck it, he knows this stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> roll both those, please. I think three twenties in alchemy checks. You deserve. You deserve a little. Oh something. God. Just okay, just so alchemy. you end up cutting the potion, but it's not a super good job. You end up getting everyone basically a cure light wounds potion. Okay. So it's okay, the, so it's one d eight plus like three healing for each person. Okay. And you've cut it four ways. That's good. You actually distribute. And, and then I don't I don't tell it? them I don't yeah I do but I give one to each person as a only use this when you really need it ingest it like you would a normal drink and swallow and then uh, a sh you know try not to take. Any more damage in the meantime? I don't really. I'm, I'm gonna, too much, yeah. I'm gonna ask when I drink. When I drink it, are you gonna be able to tell where I am at all times? <laughs> <laughs> I smirk at him. I like. I, I smirk, and I'm. Have you guys ever heard of a shit eating grin before? It's like when you show your whole yeah. teeth and stuff. I bet yeah. that's how I smile. Yeah. So I basically go. <laughs> you know, I, I go like that, and and then I, I just all like, right. yes. <laughs> all right. So that being said, are you guys ready to? Uh, Take on the take uh, to go exploring for the weapons cache. Aye, aye. I mean, all right. Quick oh wait, hang on. What's how much is in the bag? Uh, gold pieces. Yeah. Uh, four hundred in the bag. Oh man, we're getting paid tonight. So all right, Davis, um, you have about an hour and fifteen minutes left, correct? Um, I mean, I I can go a bit longer. I don't know exactly when I have to go. So okay, past... well, we've got a yeah. It's I we're about three quarters of the way through the stuff I have. Fantastic. Let's keep okay, going. I'm yeah, excited, this, man. This is getting real good. Yeah. All right, excellent. So let me go check just a second here. Um I've gotta get the next if you guys want to talk a little bit more as as in character. Yeah. So I, I turn around and I, I kinda like as the guy leaves, I'm like He seems I like this guy. He seems to agree with dealing with these foolish alchemists that seem to be appearing out of nowhere these days. He agrees with securing his master's grip over the city. Aye, but his alignment, his uh, his ideals is something that I happen to believe in as well. If getting rid of these, uh, uh, what do we call them? The alchemists. Anarchists. Anarchists, sorry. Yeah. If, we, if, uh, if, if, it, if us doing this gets rid of these anarchists, in turn gets rid of the alchemists spreading this horrible, malfunctioning alchemist fire, then I am all for it, gentlemen. It's so quite Hayden, an assumption to jump to, to blow an entire building up. Hayden, in the meantime, is going to have, like, cut the, the piles into, like, four things of each, each, you know, you know what I mean? Like, he's separated the gold into four piles. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm, I'm going to start tapping the table in between and go, you, you're, you, uh, Kale, Kale was it, right? Correct. You, uh, you may not be from around Waterdeep, but uh, I'd like to inform you that not all of the rulers here are good. In fact, not many of them are good. Alignment means nothing to me, people, sir. And, and my, main, my main issue here is that they're using this, this bastard fire. And I wish to rid this place of it. You know, an alternate way of getting rid of that would have been to just, you know, step Drink up it? and no, say, that's terrible. hey, by the way, I know how to make better alchemist fire than this. Want so you said to align myself with the bastards who are making this, al this alchemist fire in the first place? No, I thank mean, you, sir. That sounds terrible. Technically, do we know if they're actually making it or if they're just having it There were three in? cauldrons underneath, this, underneath the floorboards that had 60 liters in each. You tell me if that is not a sign of manufacturing. Plus, I found signs okay. of it actually being built as well. Did I not? You, 
You did. You there were the components there in yeah. the shop. Like it was there. So, yeah. all right, are you guys about ready to uh, mosey on out? I. Yeah. All right. So that being said, uh, you, he, with the location provided to you by Rama, you make it to you make it you make your way through the streets, and just a little bit before four in the morning, you make it to where the aqueduct is. It's a steep ascent up the the stone uh, ramp towards the aqueduct, and there's wa- cold, very cold water since it is uh, spring pouring out through this aqueduct grating. But you get to the top and you find that there has been that the lock on the, the, the bar door to the aqueduct has been broken some time ago. All right. And with just a little jimming, you can get inside. Uh, here's and what I want to do. Before you do that, I wish to bottle one flask of this, this water coming out of the aqueduct. Very well. Well, you get inside the aqueducts, and it's it's fresh, clean water. Very oh, cold. Water. Very cold. So there's there's no imperfections with the water that I can see at a, at a quick glance. Uh, yeah, it should be potable. Okay. As a matter of fact, so you're you're inside here, and I would like you guys to make sh- make your orders. So you, because you can only be one abreast on the gray cobblestone, right? Uh, Stack up as you will. I wish to go second. Actually, no, third. I'll go third. I'll stay where I am right now. On the I, right, I so, like where I am. Okay, so everyone's in their correct positions. Yep. Um, oh, and, and in my hands, sure. I wish to. I wish to. Really? Um, like how? How, I, how deep? Sorry. Yeah, sorry, yeah. just real quickly. How do I carry around my two? My long sword is in the sheave, right? On my on my belt. Oh yes, that's correct. And how do I? How's the crossbow? Like, is it on like a sling? Like, is it like? It would be around? like it would be on like like a sling case on your back, probably. Okay. Yeah, like um, strap. Okay. Yeah. All right. I um. Is there any advantage to me like putting the sling into my hands? The crossbow, sorry. Oh, uh, if you carry it in your hands and there's no time to draw. Uh, yeah, I will. I will carry it in my hands then. All right, sure thing. Hmm. So oh. we're sort of slinking through this like aqueduct, running water. Oh, uh, there's like running so. water. However, it's a it's a fairly high ceiling actually. Like Crod's head is you know like, it still has clearance. You don't have to stoop. Okay. How? So uh, really... How? Oh, sorry. Go. No, 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 you go. go Oh, well, um, since we're, like, sort of slinking and we're, we're, we're like, uh, sort of cramped in this sort of line, yeah. I'm going to look behind me to, uh, to Kale. Yeah? You just muted yourself when you said that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I might... Yeah, there it goes. I, I don't know what happened there. It's like, I turned to <laughs> Kale, and I'm like... <laughs> and I'm like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Are you fucking with me, man? I like, what's going on? <laughs> motive. <laughs> hey, so uh, I, yeah. I push the talk. It's flipped around sometimes. Okay. Sorry about that. So, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn to Kale and be like, uh, let's, little, let's be a little more careful when we start blowing things up. I'm yeah. in front of you. <laughs> All right. I will. So with okay. The, my my ro- safe word, gentlemen, is gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good to know. Hey, banana. Okay. So, <laughs> we've. Okay. So. You can't see too far ahead of you. Does does Caleb is ever burning torch out? Oh, I didn't have Krod it. It was it was was it Crud that yeah, had I that? Yeah, I have that. Oh no, Ariston. Oh, oh yeah, can I, Ariston? Pardon me. I also uh, I years s- out, right? Suppose so. Yes. Can I also get out my uh, lantern as well? It's a oh, uh, bullseye. I have, I have dark vision. So oh yeah, Crud? Crud does have like okay. Let me just uh, reveal some more territory then, because Crud can see. Okay. Um. So we can stealth mode if you guys. Are, want. You, are you guys stealth moding? Like I wish you guys can see with like, like so. you guys can see like ten feet in front of you, but Crod can see quite a bit more than that. Yeah, I'm just gonna kind of like put one hand on Crod's back and like follow him as he goes. All right, you can see like that. You can see to the end of the path, and there's more water. Like there's an elbow bend. You can see that Crod. So then you guys move as you will. The uh, sounds of the aqueducts, water running, kind of all around you. Okay. Okay. Do you guys just want to Scooby Doo? <laughs> I, I guess I'm going to hang back a little bit. I'm going to keep my torch out, but I'm going to hang back, um, I guess, 30 feet behind. If the ever-burning torch is out, Crod doesn't get his dark vision. Right, I'm going to sure? stay, like, 35 feet back behind Crod. So, like, a couple... Okay, awesome. So you're behind, I, I want him right. to be just on the very edge, just outside of, your of vision, my light. Yeah. So I have, yeah, I have right. a question. I have the um, bullseye lantern. Is there a way that I can use that that doesn't affect his low light? Yes, it does. Matter of fact, if you, it's a, it's a light cone. Okay. The bullseye. All right. So, like, let's say he like was always holding the bull cone like this. It wouldn't affect Crod's dark vision because it's pointed away from him. Cool. Yep. Then that's what I will do. 
All right, very well. So you guys m make your way up, and then Crod, tell me when you turn the corner, okay? Um, yeah, I think uh, w once everyone is where they want to be, I'm going to sort of uh, put my nose around the corner. Okay. It's a very long nose, so they notice it, and they and, and, it off. And your it's nose, like, and your nose you know. smells dead guy. Right around the corner is a face-down body. Uh, spot check. You can smell it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call the uh, the alchemist over. He seems to know a little bit more about. It. Okay. Yo, dead, yo, you're a resident special in killing people and dead guys. What can you I'm, tell us? About that's that? true. I, I bend down and I put my I put I'm the bullseye spotty. torch. Here. Where do you where do you where how do you position your bullseye lantern? Like angled, angled towards him. Like I guess. Like, like uh, you have so use like, the, uh, the the use, use the pointer the ruler function. to yeah like use the ruler to show how we how uh, you want to point it uh, like that sort of thing. Okay, so uh, I'll be I'll be bullseye uh, trajectory like that. Yeah, reveals some more, and there is a there you can see off ahead of you, partially submerged, and partially <laughs> hanging off some debris is another body. All right, so I'm just gonna focus on this guy for now. Um, all right. So can I do can a spot I? check on um, as to what he's wearing and spot. Yep. potentially what he is carrying on him, if anything, yes, and go for it. and the type of wounds that he's had. That's the information that I'm after. Absolutely, roll. I guess should we all roll that? Anyone who's next to him, yeah, I can roll the spot on that. Uh, what is my spot? Oh, no, actually, is search spot better? Spot. Is spot or search? Uh, spot. Cause you're watching like you're just using your eyes right now. So right. Oh, well, I want to be able to search. You can his body roll both. Well. Okay, remember I'll roll both. I I think I see what he had. What happened to him? Okay. And then the other one is that. So search is Let me see. plus eight. Let yeah. me see what my search is real fast. Sure. Um, <clears throat> it's like five twenties. There's been like five natural twenties in this session. That's it's, <laughs> that's awesome, actually. I mean, to be fair, we've had a lot of rolls. And a lot of yeah. them have been like just fucking blown up shit. Well, yeah, like look at look at Kale's. Like I rolled a twenty, but look at like Kale's next roll was a yeah. five. Yeah, so. most of my okay, it's really weird. I have right, like so, fives and then it's twenties. Okay. It's like, so the way this works out is that Hayden just gives it a once over and it's like he got attacked by some sort of monster or animal. Mm -hmm. It's claw marks on his on his light armor. The light armor's been ruined, right? Just completely shredded. Is it leather? It was leather, yeah. Okay. It just got completely taken to bits, okay. right? Sure. And the dude has been dead. Hayden can tell this. Dude's been dead for at least a couple days. Probably like two to four days. He's been on his face dead. And uh, if you look around, Hayden, you can see that there's a blood trail. That There's some leftover blood. Uh, uh, let me just ping this here real quick. Can you on draw? On this, which is a walkway. Where's the, where's the draw? To? Yeah, all right. Draw freehand, and then where do I color this at? All right, just a second. All right, there is some leftover residual blood over there, right? Okay, yeah. Right. Like, it's 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 definitely, it, it, it's like, it's it, it has long since been on that. It's it's like a, a, a causeway across, and it's not thick or heavily layered, but there's some smear there. Okay, so I'm going to move to... To hear, uh, do we see any? Do we get anything on our search or? Oh you know, uh, yes, the search that Kale rolls, as a matter of fact, turns up with a. It's it is a like a wooden paraffin container, right? That looks like you it would be able to hold a message or something, right? Okay. Or, or like it, it's a like basically like a uh, round document or letter holder. So like when you get like a poster or something, it's like in a tube. Or like a, yeah, like a waterproof tube kind of, but it's only okay. about a foot long. Okay. And maybe like six inches circumference. It's pretty small. Can I open it? Um, it is closed and it is it is not, but it is not heavily sealed. All right, I just I tuck it into my backpack after telling people what it was. All right. I don't open so, it. It, yeah, does it have like it. is it in like is it like a, you know how you get a letter and it's got like a, a wax seal on it? Is there anything like obvious? There's like, no that's, wax seal. It is just no. That was just know, an it's, a, it's just closed yeah. Yeah. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Like, if if I opened it, would people know that I opened? No, it? it's it's sealed completely. It's okay. not sealed, but it's like it's closed. All so right, this so this uh this walkway, like, can we see what's on the other side over there? Or um, yeah, if you put if you put, put points his bullseye lantern, you might be able to. Sure, I'll do that. I'll point to my lens. All right, from across. You see that there is another body slumped against the wall. 
And you can see that there's a similar mess around him from how uh, how hard would it be to walk across this plat this like this bridge? It's like a connector bridge. It's like four feet wide. I would say like with 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 pardon me. Ah, shoot, come on you. With the blood on it, it might be a little tricky, but not definitely not impossible. I guess I'm gonna move over to to there. I'm going to move stealthy. Uh, roll roll me a balance check, buddy. Okay, okay. So mm -hmm. I slip on the blood and kill myself in the water. Right, <laughs> that's about where this is going. How much did the wooden Click. message tube cost? Uh, weigh, by the way. Is it like a heavy thing? It's light. Okay. It feels like a balsa wood, light wood. I got oh, a 16. Okay. You cross without any problems. It's it's just a little slippery. Only if you like stumbled like a moron would you go tumbling into the water. Well, I'm I'm gonna be like this, you know. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna you're gonna like do a uh, sector sweep. All yeah. right. And well, when you do all... that, you see that there is. Yeah, yeah. You see that the rest of this area, like there was a secondary like causeway on the other side, but you see that this walkway just terminates into a walkway less water on the other side. Like there's no way you can keep going to your uh, left. Sure, there. all right. Perfect. And then if you scan a little bit more this way, you see there's more aqueduct and the dead guy who's just partially submerged. Right. I, um, I guess I... Oh, I mean, yeah, you can go if you... Well, while you're investigating that, I want to dredge this guy out of the water if possible. All right, so are you going to do a spot search? No, I'm going to pull him out of the water first before I do that. Okay, uh, are you going to have Kron uh -huh. help with that? Yeah. Yeah, Kron's, um, Kron's, his focus has been very short-sighted. He's worried about this, the corpses, not really what's in the darkness, and he's his weapon drawn. So he's Okay, not really... so if you're going to haul that guy out, I'd like you to make both make a strength check, Kale primary and Krod secondary both strength jack okay so your strength is probably right? more significant than me but uh uh kale roll yep okay all right either of you would have had a hard time getting him out especially as waterlogged as he is but you managed to pull him out and i'm gonna need you to make a uh, quick dexterity check kale and crod because he's got something clutched in his hand and it falls as you haul him up. Damn. Mm. That's not quick. Kale? I did. I rolled right under Yeah, they got a 13 and an 11. 13? Yeah. You barely, you get like hands on it and while you don't grab it, you, you, you reel it in close enough that it falls on the, the stone part, not in the water. Perfect. It, it doesn't, it, it hits, but not like, bro, bro, like a broken hit sound. It's like a clank. It, and it's, a, it is a, uh, it is a heavily made wooden box, and you can tell there's a full paraffin seal around all of it. And when you there's say no paraffin. What does that open. mean? Sorry. Paraffin is like a it's a substance. It's wax. That, it's like a waxy substance that you can spray or paint something with that makes okay. it waterproof. Oh. Like you, okay. It's like a waterproofing wax. Do you guys think these are people picking up weapons or materials from the? Anarchists and just dying to a monster. Uh, so this is a heavy box, right? Heavy wooden box. It's like two pounds, but it's like the size of like uh, a small book, right? Okay. Like maybe like six inches, like maybe like seven inches by like three and a half. I'm gonna do an, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a spot check and a search check on this guy over here. Roll him. Okay. Do you want to pull so, this guy out of the water real quick? That is my spot check. He's already been hauled up. You and Crod pulled him out, and then you managed. No, no, he, he means, can you move him out of the water? Oh, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Pardon me. All right. So that's my spot check. All right. Like, well, that like, what do I see? Just uh, he's been clawed up, just like the first guy has. But he apparently, it what it looks like is something pinned him to the wall, gored the shit out of him, and let him drop. So okay, and then my search. Check. Uh, actually, if you one more thing is, is that it, it does not whatever gored him. It looks like he also has the the claw marks, but like that he has also been hit with some sort of uh non-natural object, like a man-made weapon of some kind. Okay, so also received a hit from that. That looked it looks to 